Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to us play Mountain Blade Warband Prophecy of Pendle 3.705. We are on our way to Castle Fenbray. Fenbray? Yeah. We want to stop uh, to stuff our prisoners in there, besides the king, that one will keep. And um, we have enough food. Our troops are, well, 90% operational, I would say, which is good. And there is only one castle left, and we'll just want to go and get that castle and done with it. Um, manage the garnison. You get there, you get there, you get there. And I'm pretty disturbed that no one of this terrible Lord Idiot's guys was willing to join me, because that's what I actually expected them to do. Because I'm king now. You cannot deny that, can you? Oh, why do I have those guys with me? Yeah, we'll drop them off. We'll drop them off at Eversort Castle. Yeah, don't fear me. I'm, I'm not attacking you. What? Did you read any newspapers, man? Any newspapers? The Ravenstein Empire is as good as gone, and you're joining them? While you can join me? Can you read a map? I think you cannot read or do anything. Uh, manage the garnison. Ooh, this is a very, very badly defended castle. I ordered them to get troops, but seemingly they don't. Okay, I have enough. Uh, where must go? Okay, well, that's a long way to go. I really wonder how they were able to get that far into the territory of the empire. Yay! They have melantine bows now, which is quite the best bow in the game compared to cost um, and skill, because you only need, I think, power draw four to use that bow, and it is unbelievably hard-hitting. It's nearly as good as an old or bow when it comes to damage. It's just amazing. And you can use it from a horseback. It is an absolute master bow. Melantine bow, if you start the game and you can, you get, can get your hands on a melantine bow, just do it, because that bow will serve you for years. For years. Wonderful bow. Absolutely amazing bow, if you ask me. Absolutely amazing bow. Without any question. So someone here is burning everything to the ground. I don't know why. Yay! Get to the castle! Kel... Kelredan... Kelredan... Kel Redan Castle. Okay, let's hail the guard and talk to the guy. Perhaps he wants to join. <coughs> yes, yeah, I cannot help you, sorry. Okay, you've got in there Knights of the Dragon 1. Yeah, that will be a fight. Raven's Shrine Rangers 12, Mounted Rangers 5. I don't care about Highlanders. I don't care about Knights. I don't care about King Guard. Warden 22, okay. Men at Arms 27, I don't care about. Horsemen, I don't care about. Squires, I don't care about. 56 archers, holy crap. 71 footmen, no problem. The rest is just bogus. 21 yards. Just remember to get out of throwing range of the walls because that will be ugly. Um, King George, I think I should let you go and you give me your weapon. What an excellent choice. What is your core weapon? Oh, it's a dragon's tooth. It's a, it's it's another sword, as, as it seems. A sword. Swordy sword. What kind of sword is it? Compared. Let's compare the two, shall we? Dragon's tooth. And, well, damage is higher with the Dragon's Tooth, speed is the same, reach is better with the Dragon's Tooth, the Octobacchus Sword is a little bit lighter, assuming it's a Gladius, 
besides that, the Dragon's Tooth is the far better weapon compared to my Rune Bastard Sword. It has a little bit... Mine has more damage, the other has more speed, but only a little and a little bit more reach. But all in all, how does it look? Ooh, impressive. And it's at one hit, two hundred swords, so quite good, quite good, quite good. Okay. So, you know what? We'll stop it here. Short episode, just getting to the castle, getting the sword out of the king, and then we squish them. What should we do? No, 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 no. Fights are always a sad special episode. Besides, this is the last castle. It will be quite a fight. See you all next time. Bye!